So we move over to the uh, Ivy Leaf uh, class. Ian Anderson won this. Not many entries, uh, only the two, I think. Had a lovely plant of blooming gem there. Uh, and Graham Strevens with uh, Croquetta uh, in a second uh, place there. Um, David Steele, uh, our, uh, the PAG secretary there, uh, with a lovely Salmon Unique, the only entry in that class 14, the Unique class. Uh, so, uh, well done to him. Uh, right now, class 15 is the tricolour class. Um, not um, brilliant, you know, lovely foliage on these, and it's where the marks come through on. Uh, Julie Kitson uh, won that class with uh, a Ken Lee. Warren North Platinum in second place. Again, Julie Kitson putting that one through. And Warren North Emerald, uh, grown by Keith Bush. Um, right, now moving through, we've got um, the little bicolours, and there was only actually one, that was a Petit Pierre. Um, not many of those uh, entered this year. Uh, right, um, the gold leaf class. Um, Ian Anderson always grows very good gold leaf plants, and that plant of Benbridge was the winner. Uh, lots of um, different um, Benbridges uh, on that uh, block. Uh, Keith Bush won with, uh, got second place with a Benbridge. And a bold gold by Keith Bush in third place. Uh, because of our bright summer, um, we yeah, the gold, a lot of the gold leaves have turned very green this year. Um, now the class 18, the Floribunda class. Uh, I did very well with this uh, large um, Shrivenham star of mine. Um, did quite uh, did quite well with that plant. Got a silver a PAG silver certificate. Um, and my Gosbrook Susanna that got uh, the winner of Bristol Show the week before was uh, um, classed it in second place there. Um, and uh, a plant, uh, a peat waving uh, plant, uh, Lockie. I've never heard of that one personally, but uh, it is what it is, overgrown dwarfs. That's basically what that class is about. Uh, right, moving on, one plant of miniature Stella. Um, again, Peter, um, um, sorry, Ian Anderson uh, won this one. Kelly Brown, uh, looking absolutely stunning there. Really top quality plant. Rushmore Golden Ruffles in second place. Um, and Scotto Sparkler, I think, in uh, third place there. Right, the Dwarf Angels. These are the smaller grown Dwarf Angels. Um, where, um, once again, it was Bob Clark with a yet another Quantot Louise actually uh, hit this one. Um, Beautiful plant. Uh, Swedish Angel by Pete Waving uh, in second place. Uh, and another plant of um, Quantar Angelique by Bob Clark in third place. Okay, moving round on to the Dwarf Zonals. Uh, this single plant of Dwarf Zonals. And I got first and second with two examples of uh, Bold Cherub. The, these always grow very well for me. And I got a first and a second with one plant of each. Um, so that, they were looking very good on the day. Unfortunately, the breeder, um, John Gibbons, who I've never met, uh, was at the show, but he left early and I uh, never got the chance to uh, meet him, unfortunately. Um, but uh, a plant of Occult Profusion got uh, third place, again, grown by Ian Anderson. Again, he always does very well with that plant, and that's a good example. Okay, um, one plant miniature zone order, a single flowered variety. Phyllis Reed won uh, that uh, is the variety, and that was grown by Graham Streven, so very well done to him. Right, moving on then to the, uh, to the double miniature varieties. Uh, that was one by Julie Kitson with a, a beautiful grown uh, Ben Nevis. Always does very well. Lovely um, white variety. Uh, Ian Anderson, one with a flaming Katie in se uh, second place. Uh, and my plant of Gillian Martin uh, came up in uh, third place there. It was grown by myself. 
moving on through as I tried to avoid the uh, the people that were uh, milling round. Um, this was uh, the one plant Stella. Uh, and Ian Anderson, a brilliant Stella grower, uh, he won with that superb example of Wynne Ellison. Absolutely looking fantastic. Um, I got the, uh, the runner-up prize, second place uh, with one of my Robin Louise. Oh, I've just got my finger nicely over the lens there. Um, and that, that was mine. Uh, that was looking not too bad. Uh, Julie Kitson got third place with uh, Tinker's Snowflake. Can't say I've ever really heard of that one, but it's a very appropriate name for that plant. And again, a very good example. So um, some good plants there in the, uh, the stellar section, uh, looking very good. Okay, so moving on to the dwarf stellar then. One plant of dwarf stellar. This was a this was another uh, one of mine actually. That was a fantastic. I do admit that was a good plant. Probably one of the best examples of Robin Louise that I've ever grown. Second place, uh, a Brian West butterfly there with a the blue card. That was uh, one of mine again. And third, Win Ellison. Um, that was a, a really nice example. That plant. And that was grown by uh, April Williams, who anybody that reads the PAGS news will follow her intently, I've no, very much no doubt. Um, okay, moving through then, we're moving on to sort of some of the species uh, now, class 26. Um, oh, we've missed 26 actually, where there was a plant of cuculatum uh, that we just probably skipped by, but that was the previous one. Uh, that's Sidoides. Uh, that was grown by Peter Waving. Um, skipping through now quite quickly. I can barely keep up with this. This is a scented leaf. Class 28 is the scented leaf. Uh, Imperial butterfly. Absolutely superb example. I think that was grown by Keith Bush. Uh, fragrance in second place. An example of that. And another Imperial butterfly in third place. Uh, so some good plants there. Uh, I do have to apologise um, if I don't capture all of the winners' names. I'm trying to bash through this really quickly with the speed that I'm going with my uh, camera that I did. Okay, so getting into the 30s now. Uh, this is the One Plant Zone Arctic. First year we've ever had that in the uh, national show. And I'm pleased someone put it in. Lynn Jarvis was the uh, lady that put it in with a, an example of Rushmore Amazon. So I'm pleased that she did, uh, and it got a card. Brilliant. First place. Uh, now, moving on to the sort of... I'm not going to go through all of the names and individuals of all of these cut flower uh, classes, but um, there were some fantastic examples here. It's a very straightforward um, class to enter, these cut blooms and cut leaves. Uh, they really do put on a, you can very easily um, make a really good display with these. Okay, we move on now to the hanging basket classes, and this is class 39. Uh, and congratulations to Graham Strebens. Uh, this is a plant of crocodile. Um, uh, looking very good, brilliant body and um, leaves to it. Uh, he also got a second place, this is an unknown variety. Probably a commercial variety, but it doesn't matter. Looking very good. Uh, and congratulations to John Bradbury in third place with a mixed uh, basket. Looking superb. Okay, we move on to the hanging pot classes now. And these are mostly all blooming gems, I think. Uh, absolutely looking superb. That's second place by Peter Waving. Um, it has to be an ivy leaf in this plant. Uh, that's first place, another blooming gem, a Ian Anderson, one with uh, that plant, stunning example. Uh, and that's a plant, I think it's probably Evka, although it looks a bit red for Evka, and in third place. So, uh, and that was grown by Graham Strebens. Um, we move on now to the hanging pots that are not an ivy leaf variety. And there's an example of Lady Plymouth grown in an eight inch hanging pot. Uh, so that was uh, that was very good. That was um, grown by uh, John Bradbury. So a, a good show for him. Well done, John. Um, well, we move through now to the standards, and uh, this is the one that I had a go in. Um, 
And that was my standard of Sammy Brougham. And that did win Best in Show. I think the judges liked it because it was something a bit different. Don't often see it. But it was the same all round. Sammy Brougham is one of the spotted uh, flowering varieties. Uh, but it just did very well. Um, transporting it was a bit of an issue. But um, I get Best in Show with that. Uh, and thrilled I was to receive it. Uh, there was a second place variety. Um, well done. It was a, a, a plant of uh, Mrs. Pollock uh, grown by Graham Strebin. So well done for uh, giving me a bit of competition there, uh, Graham. Uh, but yeah, so there we are. Um, that was the winning plant. Yeah, so there we have it. Um, it really was a spectacular show. Some stunning plants, very high quality plants grown by many of the uh, of England's top growers. Uh, and I hope you enjoy that little look round the show. It really was a brilliant weekend. Uh, and I hope to see you again soon with another one of my ordinary videos back in my greenhouse very soon. So it's goodbye from me for now.